loves and welcome back to our channel it's your girl hulda here and we are back with another vlog well in today's video we are going to the bungalow it's this place that i really really just wanted to visit because oh the pictures child on the internet it gives you this kind of a beach vibe with a sunset table view on that a uh, table mountain on that side lion's head on that side like it's so beautiful so i really 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 was desperate just to go and see the kind of vibes that i'm seeing on the internet if it is what it is before we get right into it please if you have not subscribed i mean what and you are still here like what <laughs> please go and hit that subscribe button don't forget to comment share with your loved ones and i really appreciate all the love that you guys are showing well we are here you can see okay the unfortunate part is it was raining the weather was so bad i was like mm -mm, child i'm not gonna allow this weather to ruin my mood i want to go out and i'm going out so we got inside they were very welcoming and i love that they have three kind of chilling vibes the classic vibe which is the inside they have the bus session and then they have the outside where you can have the view of the ocean the mountain the city lights if it's later in the night but as you can see we were inside by the corner and i didn't like it there i wanted to go outside i was like mm -mm, like this place i can't really create content man can i go outside so they managed to get table for two outside and I, I loved it more i mean you can see the sun is still kissing my face <laughs> and uh the view was okay right although that's not where i really wanted to sit i wanted to sit like literally outside where you can really literally like see the ocean and all that but uh, we gotta deal with what we have because i mean <laughs> the weather was really really bad i'm gonna be 100 percent honest with you guys and give you guys my honest review because i don't want you guys to come to cape town or you visit the place one day and you'll be like ah hulda is this what you said was nice like i'm not saying it's not nice i'm just saying i don't want to lie to you guys i'm gonna tell you guys my experience being there okay so first things first we went inside right then that one waiter attended to us and said no i'll give you guys someone else to attend to you guys fine then someone else came i didn't even he didn't give us his name did he no he didn't give us his name and then i was like okay no can we go outside he was so nice he even assisted us caring because they deliver water i didn't ask for water he just said can i give you water and i'm like okay yes and i thought he was gonna be free child okay that's a story for another time and then uh he assisted us with our glasses i took the little rolls they gave us rolls and then we went to sit outside right so i'm a person that likes to know what i'm ordering i take time when i'm ordering i just don't take anything on the menu if i have to go on the internet and search what the hell is this name saying and what is involved in it i will even if i have to ask the waiter so he was patient a little bit impatient but patient enough to wait for us and uh, to make up my our minds especially me so the outside has like that bar area that you just saw now there's that bar area and where we are sitting and then we have this space here i love this space and this way i wanted to sit but it was raining okay so we finally decided um what to order and i don't mind ordering something i've never eaten actually like i want to explore i want to see what is this hey but guess what homeboy never came back <laughs> mind you that's the second one already ne? so we stopped someone and said okay uh we want to order but before we even ordered food we ordered drinks so that we ordered drinks from the third person right somebody else delivered the drinks and then uh um i was not ready with my order but he was ready so he gave his order to somebody else ne? and then he's like okay cool I'll, I'll still give you time actually it's homeboy homeboy came back and then he's like i'll give you more time and then i'm like okay cool so i was ready and then he just took long he took very long and then i was like okay let me just stop somebody to take our drinks because time is going most now and then we gave our, our orders and then we went outside to take videos and pictures like you see here but do you understand my point that i don't even know how many people attended to us by now i don't even know their names and my problem is they don't pay attention you can be raising your hands up they don't look at you but two managers passed by like they're going table by table that was very nice of them actually that's the one we gave our food order to i'm assuming they're managers because they dressed a bit different and funny enough is the waiters and the waitresses okay mo they have more waiters i was thinking even maybe they should get more ladies they they were just standing by the entrance like they had all just chatting there and not paying attention but uh but then that somebody else delivered the food which was a lady but for me i'm under the impression that if it's only a table of two i mean you don't need to confuse the food like 
this you know it's two people only and you should know their orders because already they didn't even write down what you're ordering i've never been a waitress but i from my understanding i know that at least you write table number eight is ordering this and that and i've come across a lot of restaurants they have funny fancy names for food and drinks especially and just to find out is fish and chips okay <laughs> but don't confuse my food i mean that's just no don't confuse my food if it's a table of you know six twelve eight people i would understand if you confuse the food they share that's very much understandable but a table of two guys come on the food came okay the food was very nice really there by the food department whoever the chefs are i'm giving you guys 10 out of 10 because the food was very nice and it was a lot value for my money so we could not finish the food was a lot uh add one more person uh to the list that i gave you of people that attended to us because we asked for a doggy bag add another person to the person that delivered the doggy bags but guess what they went to give our doggy bag to another table it chilled there for a nice 10 minutes whatsoever because hello I mean, I would expect all these little small mistakes because how many people are attending to one table? But if you all decide to serve one table, at least communicate. So one of the waiters brought our doggy bag back, but they didn't even, like, if the people ask for a doggy bag, it means they are done and they could, like, you can ask, are you guys fine? Do you want the bill? Do you, you know? But they, he just dropped the doggy bag and left and never came back. 20 minutes, 30 minutes waiting, um, we had to walk to them and say, we want to pay and leave. So the water story is before we could even sit down, he said, in the meantime, I will bring you guys water. The bill comes, I'm being charged for water as well, which I didn't even drink. Like, please don't take this negative. I'm not creating all this up. This is true. It's not lies. I'm giving my honest review. However, guys, please, the bungalow is still the place to be. I mean, you can see those couches. You can still get comfortable. And if you are this person that likes this, this chill vibes on a Friday, I can imagine it's very lit. And, um yeah man oh wait on top of that you know what when i get home in my doggy bag my salad is not there i mean yes it was little but put it in there i mean i paid for it you don't throw it away when i said put it in a doggy bag you put everything i left there everything overall management just needs to improve on the service please visit the bungalow because maybe you will not get the same experience that we got and it's really 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 nice you should see it for yourself thank you so much for watching um <laughs> this is my honest review guys please don't come for me thanks for watching and see you in my next video bye for now